Ever since I started this YouTube channel by filming with a smartphone, I've been seeking the best mobile filmmaking accessories to help me capture family videos and vlogs for my travel channel, Gemini Discover. This is the latest find that I am pretty excited about, the Freewell Sherpa Collection. In this video, I'll show you how these products work and also give you some pros and cons of the system and my thoughts about who this is for. So what is it and how do they work? Well, first off, everything in the Freewell Sherpa collection except for the Sherpa grip, which might be my most favorite piece of this whole collection, everything else relies on a phone case that is specific for the iPhone 14 and 15 and the Samsung Galaxy S23 phones. If you're watching this video in the future, Freewell may have made updated phone cases, so be sure to check out their website to see what phone models they currently support. But if you change your phone model, just be aware that you'll have to buy a $30 Freewell Sherpa case to go with it. Everything else is future-proof, and you won't have to buy it again. The phone case is actually quite nice. It's slim and has a textured plastic back, and the edges are super soft, which makes it really easy to put on your phone and take it off. It feels really good in my hands, and it's also MagSafe compatible for charging and attaching accessories. There's a little metal bit around the lenses, which protects them and also gives you a surface for attaching the rest of the Sherpa accessories, which are filters. So the whole reason why I was interested in this kit was the filters, because filters are a relatively small and affordable accessory to help you improve your smartphone image quality. Freewell makes filters for a lot of other products like mirrorless cameras, GoPros, and DJI Osmo Actions. But this was the first time that I've ever tried their phone filters. And the thing that I love most about them is that they're magnetic, so they're very quick and easy to attach and detach. They also cover all three phone lenses, so once they're attached, you can use any of your phone lenses with the filter. There are a bunch of filters to choose from, including neutral density filters, which darken your image to help you shoot long exposures or shoot in cinematic settings. There's also a circular polarizer for reducing glare and reflections, which is handy for shooting water in particular, and a mist filter to diffuse light and create a hazy effect. In addition to filters, Freewell also makes a 1.55x anamorphic lens to help you shoot a wider field of view on a narrow sensor, resulting in black letter boxes on the top and bottom of your image, and also that classic blue light streak during certain lighting conditions. It's often perceived as more cinematic of a look, and it's a look that you can only get by using an anamorphic lens. This anamorphic lens also has filter threads for attaching optional ND8, 16, 32, or 64 filters. The whole anamorphic kit comes in a nicely padded zippered case. Now besides the phone case and filters, there's also the multi-use Sherpa grip, which does not require the phone case, so you can use it on pretty much any phone out there. Now this might be my favorite piece of this entire collection because it's so versatile, but also pocket-sized. So from first appearance, it's a clamp that attaches to a smartphone and it has a nice grip for making it more ergonomic while shooting photos and videos. There's even a button on top with Bluetooth connectivity so you can shoot photos or start recording video. So ergonomically and aesthetically, this makes your phone seem and feel more like a point and shoot camera, but there's more. The top of the grip also has a cold shoe mount and a few quarter 20 inch holes for attaching accessories, like an external microphone or a light. The bottom also has quarter 20 holes and an Arca Swiss mount for easily attaching the entire rig to an Arca Swiss tripod. The final trick up its sleeve is that the front handle can fold down so you can hold it as a grip and you can actually pull it out to extend, turning it into a mini selfie stick. So now that I've explained what the Freewell Sherpa collection is, let me talk to you about some pros and cons. Now in terms of pros, I love that this entire system is compact, easy to use, and future-proof. Besides the phone case, pretty much everything can be used with future phones without having to buy replacements to fit new phone models. The filters are really high quality and very easy to attach and detach via the magnets. And while I don't always see a dramatic difference in my image quality, I do see enough of a difference when I use it under select circumstances. 
It's a very subtle and easy way to level up your smartphone photo and video quality. But the system isn't perfect and there are some cons. First is the price. Nothing here is cheap. The phone case is $30 and the selfie grip is $80. The variable ND filters are also $80 each, and the mist filters and CPLs are $50 each. And the whole anamorphic lens kit is $150. But there is a bit of a cost savings if you get bundles that include the phone case, grip, and various filter combinations. Still, it's pretty pricey, but do remember that everything except for the phone case is future-proof and will work with future phone models. The rest of the cons are a little nitpicky, but there are things that I think could be updated in future versions of this collection to make it even better. For the phone case itself, I'm not a super huge fan of the giant Freewell logo on the bottom. This could definitely be more subtle. And the metal part that goes around the phone lenses is prone to scratching and picking up gunk. Now I love that it's magnetic, but it doesn't maintain a nice appearance for very long in my experience using it. I find the plastic filter cases to also be a little bit bulky. I'd love if this could be simplified to just being the filter and like a front and rear cap for easier carrying so I don't have to bring this entire case with me everywhere. And for the anamorphic lens, you know, I love the size and how the lens and filters all fit in this nice little carrying case. But I have a really hard time attaching the lens to the phone case. Like I'm afraid of accidentally scratching my iPhone lens when I'm attaching it. So that could really be improved. Finally, the Sherpa grip is definitely my favorite part of this whole kit, but there are some cons to it as well. For example, the max payload is 350 grams when you're using it as a selfie stick. So you can't add a ton of accessories or fully rig it up. The extension is also a little bit short. I'd love if it was just a tiny bit longer. And also the phone clamp can be a bit cumbersome. I often pinch my fingers or accidentally trigger the Bluetooth button when I'm trying to put my phone inside. A MagSafe attachment would be a lot faster and easier to use. I'd also love to see a mini tripod built into the grip so it could sit by itself. So I think it's a great idea of a phone grip and some people might really like it as is, but if these few improvements are implemented, I think it would actually be the perfect all around phone grip for how small it is. So those are my thoughts about the Freewell Smartphone Filmmaking Kit. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if you'd be interested in trying this kit. The thing is you don't have to you know, buy the entire kit, you can buy bits and pieces of it and use it according to how you want to shoot with it. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because I have lots more phone filmmaking videos coming out. Uh, this is the iPhone 14 Pro, but I will have the iPhone 15 Pro in a matter of hours. And so more content about that will be coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.